Gerbert. So I just turned 20. Technically, I was born in 2003 or whatever, but I don't really feel like it. I feel more like I'm 16. I also look more like I'm 16, but that's probably just genetic. The point is, mentally, I'm like a 16 year old. And that's what I said in court, but the jury really wasn't having it. And I got charged with um, uh, something about statutory. So I had to flee the scene. I drove deep into the mountains because I, I really don't want to go to jail what the on fuck? account of the fact, you know, the fellas in there might try to get my ass. On my journey, I spotted a large tree, a tall tree I decided to climb so I could scout my surroundings and make sure none of the authorities were after me. It was the first time I climbed a tree in a while. I used to really love climbing trees. When I finally reached the top, I looked around and I didn't see anybody, only the landscape. I reached for my phone in my pocket, but I realized I didn't have it. It was down there recording me climbing the tree. So now I'm on top of this tree and I don't have any constant simulation to silence my zoomer brain from thinking thoughts. So now they're right in front of me and I start to break down. Not like I'm not like I'm crying or anything gay like that. It's you know, it's all inside. I realized that I should have climbed more trees. I know I'm still young. I still have a lot of time, but in many ways it's too late. Not just too late to climb trees, but too late to go sleep over with my friends, have conversations into the night, laughing, waking up their parents and pretending like we're asleep when they walk in the room. Too late to come home from school and hop on Xbox Live with all the homies. Too late to go back to school, because as much as it sucked, that's where all the boys were. Okay. And now they're kind of all gone. Too late to feel innocent high school love. Too late to be a kid, because I guess I could still climb trees, but it wouldn't be the same anymore. I used to do it just because I liked doing it, and now I do it to avoid being convicted as a sex criminal. But hey, I guess that's just growing up. I don't feel ready. I want to go back. But time keeps moving. In fact, that shit continually moves faster as you get older, which is a real dick move by, uh, you know, the, the Lord. It's a well-known psychological phenomenon that time seems to move faster as you get older. But once I realized why this happens, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. It's because the passage of time is proportionate to your memory. When you're younger, time seems more dense because the things you experience are new and your brain memorizes them as such. Okay. And when you're older, going on your daily life, you have less and less new experiences. So during the day, it might not seem fast, but that's why you can blink and look back at the last five or 10 years and feel like it's been no time at all. Damn. Like nothing's really happened. That's just the general concept, but it can get scary when you extrapolate it to other things. Because unique and memorable events slow down time, getting into a routine makes time go faster because your days are all the same. And that's kind of what adulthood is. For me, time was moving very steady until I was 16, 17. And by this time the lockdowns hit. I didn't have a graduation, I just started taking online classes at a community college, and my days started bleeding together. These last few years, I feel were robbed from me. I was a late bloomer, so I was pretty unfuckable most of my life, never dated in high school, and after this, my friend groups broke apart, scattered to different universities, states, and programs. I see them every once in a while, but there's no group anymore, no shared community. It's not the same. Through doing the research I've done on this channel and really looking at other people around my age, I've noticed stunted growth of this generation, specifically men, on a wide scale. You could point to many things that demonstrate the arrested development of this generation. Men dropping out of the labor force, the college entrance rates being 60% women, 40% men, and the graduation rates being even more skewed at 70-30. Some people say these men are avoiding college or dropping out to pursue some greater ambition, like starting a business. And while that may be the case for some, it was probably the idea for most of them. Let's just be honest, a lot of these guys are just fucking off. Less people are getting driver's licenses. You could point to the rate of single men 
and lonely men with no brotherhood. This is something I talk about a lot in other videos, That's so crazy. I'm not gonna go into depth. How many of y'all feel like your days have flown by? I'm not gonna lie, he's talking because time flies, bro. It's already fucking June. I remember when I was in fucking Texas with RDC for New Year's, bro. Like, time flies. I'm looking at it, I'm like, God damn, it's June already, nigga. It's in the statistics, but having human relationships is a big part of growing up. Learning how to grow and maintain connections and provide value. This is true for platonic relationships, but it's also true for romantic I'm 26, well. Zab. It's a part of maturing, but a lot of men don't even get their foot in the door now. This arrested development is also demonstrated by Gen Z's obsession with escapism and fantasy. And it's cool if you like these sort of things, but the amount of people I see make it damn near their whole personality is crazy. And this is because community is dying and culture alongside it. Nobody has a real sense of self anymore. When I look around at young people my age, a lot of them are submerged in this escapism, whether it be anime, video games, the hub, weed and other drugs, usually a combination of most of these things, it's what they spend Sabaton most of their time ago. doing. And April. in a way, it's kind of what they live for. This is also sort of connected to rampant consumerism, which is childish. Being obsessed with fantasy is a childish trait. This isn't to say that all Zoomers are like grown up children. I know I know a lot of people that are making good progress. They're growing up, they're, they're doing good, but it's a scary amount and a lot of these guys who live this sort of lifestyle they're they're really smart too like they had a lot of potential but it's just uh you know it's over now i'm 20 but i haven't really lived that much for my age in terms of experience which as i talked about earlier slows down time especially when compared to someone like my great-grandfather when he was 20 years old who while being technically the same age as me would have already lived way more and kind of longer he experienced more more growth more character development there are even arguments rooted in physiognomy that claim men today look younger and more childlike than men of previous generations because this lack of experience and responsibility can manifest itself in your physical appearance which is debatable but it's an interesting concept you could also point to the home ownership rates and the amount of people still living with their parents TK? which is mainly why are you saying tk are you saying i look young because i lack experience and responsibility and haven't had to make decisions in my life an economic issue i'm not going to blame that on video games or whatever and in other cultures, they do that anyway. I moved out, and I kind of regret it. But the truth is, a lot of these people who are living with their parents also just happen to be not doing shit. After graduating from high school and not going to university, I didn't really consider how much it would isolate me. The truth is, college has sort of monopolized socialization for young people. True. And I talked about this a little bit on my second channel. That video didn't even get a whole lot of views compared to my other ones, but the amount of people who sent me emails that were resounding with it showed me how true it is. It sucks because college now for many people isn't a smart financial decision not. unless you have some sort of scholarship or financial aid or you're really hell-bent on becoming an accountant. If you graduate high school, you start going straight to a trade, straight to the professional world, you're going out doing all these things by yourself, you look around and everyone's older than you. And you find out quickly how atomized, how individualized people are, how hard it is to find a community. I just thought that's something I, I'd mention for anybody graduating high school or about to graduate high school. Uh, you know, if you're not if you're not gonna go to college, you gotta be you gotta you gotta weigh that in. You gotta understand that uh, you'll probably isolate yourself because a lot of your friends are probably going. Your social circle is gonna split apart, and you're there's not gonna be a group of young people around you anymore. You'll go outside, and everybody's forty. I was talking to my parents the other day at lunch, asking them about when they were my age. They're in their sixties now. My parents were dating when they were nineteen. I've never been in a relationship. I've only fooled around with girls I couldn't care less about. They talked about all these people they met when they were my age that I now know today. They were telling me these stories and it all just seemed so natural. Like they didn't have to think twice about it. And I felt uncomfortable in comparison because none of these things happened to me. 
Yeah. And I'm similar to my parents. I'm genetically them. What sucks is that I'm overthinking about all this shit to a degree that makes me weird that my dad never had to think about. I've gone through all these phases, self-improvement, reading all these books, devising a plan to stop touching my worm and looking at Hinte, you know, black pill, jawline, can't thou tilt. It's like, geez, man, how did I get here? A lot of these things were just supposed to happen. So this is the image of what this era is creating. Atomized, disconnected people with no identity or greater purpose than to consume. You don't grow, you don't mature, you're dependent okay. on your parents, or you live in a tiny apartment where you don't know your neighbors, you come home from work, or you don't work at all, just to cope through fantasy, through escapism, drugs, and technology. You fuck your sex robot, and you take your medicine. You don't have a family, but you got a lot of products. Say whatever What's you up, want. Santana? Ignore me you at your own sleep. peril. You gotta but listen, bro. You gotta listen. You're an NPC right now, brother. You gotta this learn. This is no mistake. This was planned for you. And even though all of this is happening, I'm still young. You might be too. You still decide your own future. I could stay up in this basement, comfortable, too scared to change with my gamer chair and computer with the RTX whatever the fuck in the confines of the underground prison watching seasons pass like days a child in a man's body just living to farm dopamine from games and the internet the flesh merging with machine as the world burns this is the life that so many young men like me live but it ain't gonna happen to daddy I don't think so pal daddy's gonna make a change and you can too anything is possible with a good plan. It is harder now. These videos on my channels have been getting repetitive because I haven't really grown much as a person. I haven't been gaining much experience. But he kind of reminds me of Sneeko. I think this is about to change. Stay tuned and you'll find out, but first I have to beat this case.